My name is Rafat Larayev. I have a PhD in English literature. I'm an assistant professor at the Islamic University of Gaza, which uh, was bombed by uh, Israel along with other four other universities in Gaza. Uh, I am 44. I am married. I have four uh, four daughters and two sons. That's six children. Two weeks ago, Israel bombed our uh, home where I was hosting four relatives. We were about 30 people, 25 of them children and women. Uh, we had to flee. We were there inside the home, our home, and Israel bombed without any warning, and we escaped with a miracle. I am in Gaza City currently. I moved to uh, three or three places uh, since uh, my home and was uh, my our building was bombed by Israel, and we had to to move to other places. Uh, what's happening in Gaza is complete and total extermination. It's an Israeli systematic campaign to destroy and damage. We speak about uh, uh, 12,000 people killed, about 5,000 of them children. This is systematic. 90% of people were killed in their homes when they were sleeping they, uh, and hosting other people. It's also a starvation war. Palestinians in Gaza are now starving. We barely have food. We barely have water because Israel closed everything. Now a friend was saying that we don't have water. Uh, she is. Uh, she she got uh, uh, an energy drink to her four-year-old kid because she doesn't have water at home. I haven't had a shower in ten days because we don't have enough water. Because we want to save this water, even Gaza's water, ninety percent of it is not fit to be drunk. But many people are now drinking this water, and many people are getting sick because of drinking. Uh, contaminated, contaminated water, water that is not fit for human consumption. This is what's going on. It's Gaza is no longer a concentration camp, it's an extermination camp. Usually the nights are the worst, because Israel, but just yesterday we had the worst night ever. Uh, 10 meters away, they bombed from where we stay, they bombed uh, an electricity pole and the glass came down, some of the ceilings came down, we were about to sleep. They have been turned for more than a month into nightmares. People barely sleep. When we sleep, Israel resumes the, the, the bombing. The kids shriek, the uh, strikes, the pain, the, the horror. The children are suffering the most. The shrieking and the crying and the way, but this is something heavy. Like, personally, I want to spend the whole time crying and weeping. I'm a father, I'm a teacher, I have 200 students that I care about. I try to protect, to provide with everything they want, and I can't protect those people. I'm desperate. Childhood, it's lost. The kids are horrified. My, my seven-year-old, Amal, she's now four, four wars old. And I think you can hear some of the, the bombing happening in the distance here in the background. This is non-stop. Probably you can hear also the, 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 the drones, the psychological pain and, and non-stop, consistent droning. My feelings are of despair, hopelessness, helplessness. Despair. I am lost. I've given up hope. 